A new bipartisan bill aims to honor a group of unsung heroes who played a huge role in American history. We're talking about the Tuskegee Airmen who served in World War II and were the first black military airmen. NBC Connect's Amanda Pitts brings us the details. April 26 could soon be Tuskegee Airmen Day in Connecticut. And it is my hope that they will be recognized annually with the passage of House Bill 5409. The bipartisan bill honors the unsung heroes who fought in World War II. Oh. Thursday morning, a ceremony inside the state capitol shined a light on the airmen's sacrifices and struggles as the country's first black military pilots. Like black men in every war since the American Revolution, America called on them when she needed them, but then wrote them out of history. Patricia Wilson's father was one of them. You no, know, my father told me an interesting story of, you know, everybody coming home and some of the white folks were getting off the boat and there was a ticker tape parade and there was, and they were getting off on the other side of the boat where their families were, but none of the ticker tape, none of the excitement, none of the balloons. Now they're getting the recognition they deserve, both through the bill that's so far passed the house and at the New England Air Museum. Last year, they unveiled an exhibit dedicated to the fighter pilot. You go through the story and then the videos tell the story. So one is what it was like to be black pre-World War II and what, what it felt like to feel that discrimination. The next video talks about training and being washed out, not because of a lack of talent, but because of the color of your skin. It aims to not only honor the airmen, but educate people about them and keep their memories alive. And all of the Tuskegee airmen I've known have always said we just did our job. You know, this is nothing to be applauded. But they were to be applauded. I'm glad that, that others are recognizing the work that they did to make this country great. At the Capitol, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News.